ladies and gentlemen. This story is about a cop that got fired because he donated to Kyle Rittenhouse Fund. So Candace raised $202,000 for this fired cop. So the story came out on Fox News, November 22nd, 2022. Candace Owens raises over 200,000 for cop fired after having donated to Kyle Rittenhouse Fund. Well, she's doing what she does best, right? Cooning out. Conservative commentator Candace Owens raised hundreds of thousands of dollars for a Virginia police officer who was fired for supporting Kyle Rittenhouse. Owens presented police Lieutenant William Kelly. Well, isn't that former? He doesn't have a job. All right. Uh, with a giant check for $202,000 on the Daily Wire's Candace after he was let go by the Norfolk Police Department in April for having anonymously contributed to Rittenhouse Defense Fund. In a preview clip shared with Fox News, Owens told the audience she wanted to offer an ultimate response to the backlash Kelly and his family had faced for siding with the truth. So she's talking about siding with Rittenhouse because that's what Candace does. All right. I am so grateful for our police officers, Owen said on Monday. I can't even imagine, especially in today's political climate, knowing that you're fighting for justice and you have an entire ecosystem of horrible people that are constantly fighting against you. This is what Candace is saying, fighting to defund you, telling you you're not allowed to exist unless you side with narratives. Well, that's what you're doing, Candace. Um, that are actual lies. So this just makes me so happy. Thank you so much, Kelly told Owens. Candace Host clarified the amount raised for the 19-year veteran has increased since the giant check was printed. The total surpassed $250,000. Uh, Owens raised the money through crowdfunding website Give, Send, Go with the initial goal of 100000 which was far exceeded by more than double. The full episode of Candace featuring Kelly will be released Tuesday night. So it really already aired according to this. Mm -mm -mm. So Candace, as you know, this is not the only fundraiser she's done for cops. She's done it for some police departments. You know, never mind the people that look like her or being gunned down and killed unarmed in this country every single day. But her side is with the cop. Boy, Candace, your day can't come fast enough, but it's definitely going to come. Wow. So this happened in April. He said, I thought I was a free man in America expressing his personal opinion to somebody, giving some words of encouragement and making a simple donation. Kelly told Fox News in May. Kelly, 42, said he donated to a, a Give, Send, Go account. Oh, so this is where you uh, conservatives are running to so that go fund. Uh, I guess it's like a GoFundMe. Uh, account. That's right. Kansas can't do GoFundMe. They threw her off. I remember that. So the account to benefit Rittenhouse, now 18. At the end of the summer of 2020, he registered an account using his official police department email, 
but said the donation was anonymous. So that's how he got busted. Okay, the message including the donation stated, God bless, thank you for your courage, keep your head up, you've done nothing wrong, every rank and file police officer supports you, don't be discouraged by actions of the political class of law enforcement leadership. So that's what he wrote along with his anonymous donation with his police department email address. Kelly did not place the donation during work hours, he said. He didn't hear anything about the contributions for months until the morning of April 16th. I was getting ready for work one morning and I got a phone call from a fellow police officer who was working at the central desk. He recalled his colleague was calling about a report released that morning by the Guardian, which detailed how a data breach revealed how Kelly, who was a sergeant at the time, was among police officials who had donated to Rittenhouse's fund. Regardless of the event of the past year, Kelly said without hesitating that he would return to work if given the chance to do so. I love my job. I love law enforcement as a career, he said. It's part of who I am. Well, if they didn't take his peace license, he can get another job somewhere else and more than likely will. So, mm, just imagine that we have never seen Candace standing with any one black that she raised funds for. I have never seen that, but I have seen her take pictures with officers that she raised money for in the past and with police departments. So y'all, please tell me what old Candace girl, the ultimate sellout, how you feel about her raising money for a cop that lost his job because he donated to Kyle Rittenhouse. Mm -mm -mm. Isn't that the fault of the police officer's uh, department? Now, couldn't he file a lawsuit on them for that? I'm just saying. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.